Hi guys, my name is Lydia Ojimo. I'm a nail technician at Polished Nail Bar. This is Glam Up. I'll be taking you through overlay extension with gel polish. This is the process. Let's get started. You're welcome. So guys, on this nail, I, ha I had removed what she had earlier, which were tips. I um, washed it, removed the cuticles, pushed back the cuticles. So this is ready to get started. Um, we start with the primer. This is a combination of a dehydrator and a primer. Its main work is to remove the, the oily shine from the nail so that the overlay extension can adhere well this does not need curing because it dries on its own as you can see then next We'll use, um, this is the hard gel. Um, the reason why I'm using the hard gel and not the, the, the normal base coat is because hard gel is mostly used when sticking on nail art. It's a bit hard and uh, a bit strong for the nail, yeah? So we'll, we'll, we'll not apply a heavy coat, a very thin, thin coat. So we let that cure for 60 seconds. As it cures, we can get started with the, the forms, right? So right now I'm using MAC gel. This is how an overlay looks like. Yeah, most people call it hard gel. I don't know what gel, but it's an overlay. So you pick a substantial amount and you form it on the foam. The trick is not to lift the brush while you are spreading it. Try and avoid as much as possible. Do not put it too close to the cuticle because once you press it in, the, the overlay spreads out. So you try and probably around three quarter from the cuticle. Clean out the base a bit to avoid having lumpy positions then put it back in for an extra 60 seconds. You do that each nail at a time until all nails are covered. The one thing that actually makes overlay quite different from acrylics and other gels is because 
one it's already in liquid form and then it cures immediately you expose it to UV rays so even if it's in a bottle and you expose it to UV rays it will cure like a hard rock yeah So um, they are dry 60 seconds on each finger. Now you remove the foam. Do not worry if it's a bit bent or has a deformity at some point. We'll deal with that right now. So you shake the foam, it pops out, right? Now we use the drill at um, There, that's good to even out at this point at the joining where it's almost close to the cuticle we'll use it to even out this point again be careful about the drill and the client's cuticle See this one when I laid it in it formed this ridge in between the first one and the second one so what I'm going to do is clip it and then use a hand file to even out this point and get to the place where the two join right No more ridges. So um, we continue with the drill. I'm using mid speed to avoid messing around with the client's hand. So next, without using the, the forms, we apply a second coat of the overlay.
do not worry about the dust the dust will not affect the overlay adhering to the nail at any point it actually does help The name you decide to call it so you start by flattening the surface remember to hold the nail while you're filing So what I'm going to do next is buff the nail to smoothen out the surface. So we washed the nails. I had already done this one. This is the, how it looks afterwards. So what I'm going to do is wash the nails and be back shortly. All I'm using is regular soap and a brush to clean out the dust.
so this is how they look afterwards um, yeah basically this is how they look so what we're going to do next is apply gel polish I'm not going to start with a primer because her natural nails are, are already protected by the overlay so I'll just start with the base coat This is regular gel but in form of, um, it doesn't have a brush so you basically need a brush to use it. Cure it for 60 seconds. This is the second coat. It's a bit light so I'm going to add a pad coat as you can see um, you can still see the lines so I'll add a pad coat to make sure it's a bit thick.
right now we want to use this this is this powder um, it's chrome mirror like powder uh, so you dab it and then rub it before applying the top coat As you can see there's a distinct difference huh? this one has chrome this one doesn't it it has that shining mirror like look you don't have to dry it it's okay as it is As you've noticed, I'm applying the chrome on the ones that don't have glitters. Now we apply the top coats and we are done. Um, I'm using regular spirit to wipe off the excess chrome from the sides. Um, this is cuticle oil. It is used to uh, moisturize and help the cuticles grow, especially after too much filing or buffing. We are done. This is the end result.